Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, everybody here on the Solar Butterfly TV station. We have just arrived in the canton of Aargau in Switzerland in Sins at the company called 3A Composites Core Materials. Now, what is this company producing? I have to tell you, I'm very happy. This company was the first sponsor who ever supported us with material. That was about two years ago when I jumped into this, uh, through the door in this company and I asked the people, hey, can you support us with PET? I need PET, yeah, PET, that's the material that we used to um, produce the solar butterfly. All this material here inside is PET, that's a hard foam and actually extra for the butterfly, the company decided to build ocean PET foam, recycled foam from the ocean, from ocean bottles. It's an unbelievable uh, development that the company has done. And I would like to say thanks a lot, Eric Gauthier. Welcome in our studio. Thank you. He's the CEO of, the, of uh, 3A Composites Core Materials. Welcome here, uh, Eric. I'm very pleased to see you, to meet you today. And uh, maybe you can tell us a little bit more about your company. Yes, thanks, uh, Louis. 3A Composite Core Material is a division of uh, within 3A group which is part of Schweiter Technology which is a listed company and we are about in this division about 1800 people all over mm -hmm. the world with uh, location in Switzerland in Europe in uh, North and South America in China and in Papua New Guinea because as you mentioned to before uh, we have more than eight years experience in the core material and we are focusing I will say on innovative and sustainable sustainable products like balsa, we have plantation in Ecuador and Papua New Guinea and PET. And PET. And that's the interesting thing we talk about because you're producing this PET foam for what kind of um, companies? Who is buying PET from you? PET has been developed uh, more than 15 years ago and uh, we were the first one to uh, extrude a PET foam because at the time uh, the market was, uh, or the foam market, we are already the offering in Balsa, but the foam market was dominated by PVC, and PVC is a thermoset and not recyclable. So it's clear with uh, all the team, the R&D team, they, they wanted to develop a new foam, which was recyclable, but also uh, with a good position and with re re remarkable properties. And uh, currently the main user of PET is the wind, the windmills that you can see okay. on the screen, yep. on the blades and also on the nacelle. And the historical, I will say, uh, application is marine, but now you will see a lot also on the sidewall of the trucks. Is so that is pretty good here, and uh, yep. that was the right material for you to use. And also coming back to what you mentioned before, uh, it started from Virgin PET but uh, more and more we use circularity. So using our own scrap, our mm -hmm. own cutoff, mm -hmm. but also using a recycled PET coming from uh, the normal collection of bottles. And for you, we did the first, I would say structural panel with ocean pet. That's a fantastic thing. I remember I came to, to your company, I, I talked to your R&D team and I asked them if they could do 100% from ocean pet, from bottles from the ocean, if they could make the walls for me and they tested it and they tried and it worked. So what do you think, how much is the potential? Could you sell this stuff also to other, co other <coughs> customers? Is there a market for ocean pet? I have to say ocean pet is uh, brand new and uh, we were pretty happy that you were asking us. And I have to say when Dietmar and his team came with the idea to use this ocean pet, which is coming, like you mentioned, from uh, fishing the bottles from the sea and then regranulated and making a material. We s I was pretty pleased to see that it was possible to make a finished material. But of course, currently the, the cost is more expensive than a traditional PET. So it will take some time to uh, have to say to see the cost reduce or coming to a certain value a certain pricing which will be acceptable for the customer but I see some possibility for application where the people would agree to pay more so it could be like a marine some uh, here people want to have a, a fully 
I will say uh, sustainable boat, or it could be also uh, one idea given by Freddie when I was the, Freddie is one of our sales man here. Why not also doing that for uh, maybe soft board? Mm -hmm. That could be also one uh, one segment. That would be great. I mean, I'm very happy that we could with a solar butterfly. We could already change and give you a little input and inspiration, and uh, I hope it will work. I hope more people will ask for that pet for the ocean pet. It's a pet that really, uh, maybe it will make sense that in the future robot boats go out in the ocean, collect those pet bottles because it can be maybe even cheaper than fresh new PET. That, that would be our vision, that could be an idea, right? That could be really the future. We can see at the beginning when uh, recycled PET was used from the bottle, at the beginning the supply chain was not in place. But it's clear that uh, making this communication, will, uh, we see that every day people are talking about the pollution of the ocean. That could be, uh, whether I will say, a double good impact, cleaning mm -hmm. the ocean and making material out of it. So for me, I see that uh, it could be a, a nice future for that, yes. That's, that's very interesting. I'm very happy I met you. I'm very happy we could start this development together. Let's see where it goes. There's huge potential for that, for your technology to be used in the industry. A good place where pot, pet bottles from the ocean could be used and could be reused. So thank you very much for the interesting insights and thank interesting you. interview. Thank you very much, uh, Eric, for the support. Thanks to you, we have this great material. We can say, yes, the solar butterfly was built out of, mainly out of ocean, um, ocean um, waste, we yes. can say. And I wish you all the best, Eric. A lot of success with this idea. And thank you very much for your support. Thank you, Louis. And thanks a lot to be part of your adventure. I think it will be good for the communication and also to people that are aware of this new innovation. Thanks and all the best for your tour. Thank you. Thank That's you. very useful. Thank you very much, Eric. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of this interview and I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to know more about us, go to www.solarbutterfly.org. That's our website. Or just follow us, hashtag MeetLarzo. We call the butterfly Larzo. So don't forget Meet Larzo. Follow us on all the social media channels. Thanks for joining and see you later. Have a good day. <laughs>